Well, here we are at the end of Blue Light happening right now. Uh, you know, it's been going on. You know, Blue Light. So, like, they say it's a blue hour. I call it the blue light, but they say it's blue hour. You know, it's, a, it's actually a half hour before, um, how is it? A half hour before sunrise, or 20 minutes of that half hour, you know, uh, is, is called the blue hour. It's, a half hour. It's, it's only 20 minutes, so I don't know how they come up with that. But anyway, um, so this is the last uh, blue light session of the trip that I've, that I've been taking from uh, the VIA, the VIA Rail, the Canadian Rail thing. They went from, uh, from Vancouver to um, to Toronto. We're going to be in Toronto. Um, first, I was worried. I thought we, we wouldn't be in enough time. We would be there at 2.30. Wouldn't be there enough time to catch my connection because I have to go someplace else at 5.30. But fear not, they, they, they pad in. They pad in time so that you'll make it in time and stuff like that. So anyway, so, so that's good. Uh, it's like they say, it might even make earlier, like maybe one o'clock or you know, something like that. If that's if that's the case, I'll go out to Toronto thing and, and get the, like, get something to eat, some vegetables, you know. Because the only the only bad thing, if we say it's a bad thing, the thing that's sort of disappointing about this trip is that there's no dining car, you know. And what that that means is that you no, know, uh, they don't have like snacks. In fact, they didn't even have any soup. That's strange. It's winter time. Aren't you supposed to have soup? No, I even think I know soup in a couple. But, the, the, not that good for you, but, that, but it's still soup. You know, they didn't even have that. You know, they have. Forget what they have. Anyway, but you know, at, at times we could get off. You know, so I go a, a couple of times. But one time we got off and got an avocado. That's right. I'm a. Hello, my name is Anthony. Hello, Anthony, and I'm an avocado addict. Oh, welcome. See, avocado addict. Anyway, so I so I had avocado. I even had avocado earlier this this morning, and I've been. Uh, See, I'm not weight conscious, you know. There's more. I, I eat two meals a day, but I think I'm gonna have to do something else about that, you know, because um, I've been, I won't say losing a lot of weight, but my physique is not the way I want it. So I have to adjust my little thing because I've been doing like fruit and um, and then a, a meal, another meal. I need to do, um, and what I want to do is do Ayurvedic meal, you know. But I think I have to adjust it somehow. Um, I'm, I'm still not gonna do carbs. I shouldn't say that, but I'm not. I can do potatoes every once in a while, but I'm really not into too much of those breads. Like, I kind of get the breads out. I make my own bread kind of thing, you know, the, the, or the Ezekiel 4-9 breads. That would be good. I'd have to get back to that, you know. But anyway, but, um, because, you know, I've always been, I, I don't know. All, I got, all I'm trying to say is that um, I'm concerned about my weight loss. Not loss, but I'm concerned. Right? Mm. See, like this is chocolate milk. This should fatten me up. Chocolate milk. Mm. Yum yum. Hello, my name is Anthony, and I'm a chocolate addict. Sorry, I like chocolate. I like avocado. I or I should say dark chocolate. In fact, I, when I got off the train one time, I got they have a dark chocolate covered pistachio. Go figure. Oh man. So I bought a pack of that. My little nut mix, I got dark colored chocolate pistachio, I got dark colored, what is it? Oh, the, um, oh, what's that? Uh, pomegranate that I got. The, the, the pomegranate seed. Made it. Don't worry about it. I got that little oh, thing. Skew it. Not skew it. Um, so, hold well, on. Let me, let me stop and go, and go back, you know. But what I'm trying to say is that this is the last night on the train, but it's been fantastic. And the third, the third day, just just before this night began, right? On how we say it. So we we been some other guys we bonded it was like maybe six of us guys down in the car down there talking and yapping and you know blah blah blah. And it was fantastic. It's the kind of thing I don't know, this is you know, you spend two days on a train it's fine. But when you spend three days and though not everybody gets on the same spot, but most of us have been there for the whole time. The bonds shift and they change, and it's really, it was just, it's fantastic to go on a trip and then the barriers to break down, and then you really have a camaraderie. And like one guy, we got off from one, what was it, I think Jasper? And um, we, uh, we had some time. Was it Jasper? I think it was Jasper. We had some time. So I ran over, ran over to, uh, 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 to get, um, not a meal, uh, yeah, to get a meal from a, a little, Restaurant bar, right? And they they supposed to have had Guinness 
you know, in a, a stout, you know, or, or, or on the, on the, what do you call it, the fountain, whatever you call that, the, 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 the keg, whatever the deal is. They, well, they didn't have it, right? And it was a whole thing at the bar. Her, um, the woman there named, named Beth. Actually, she's a girl. But anyway, so one of the train passengers was there, right? And so, and, and another another passenger and his 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 woman, right? And then me and um, my guy from from Singapore, we came, you know. And so I was waiting for food. So I said, they said, well, this special, you can have a drink, you know what I mean? So I said, oh, so I saw the sign for the, the Guinness on tap, Guinness on tap. I said, well, let me have a Guinness. They said, well, we don't have that. Like being the, like when I would go to Mexico or somewhere and say we have it. Well, no, we don't have that today. Or we don't. You, you understand what I'm saying? So, so okay. So, so then, well, what do you have? Uh, they, had, they had. Okay, you have you have red wine. So you have wine. Yes, you have red wine. Yes. What kind of red wine you have? Merlot. I don't do Merlot, right? I'm sorry. I'm not like the movie. That's the movie Side Wine or something like that. No. I like Shiraz if I got to do anything common, right? But give me a Primitivo, right? Primitivo, that's what I want. And lately I had this 21 Crimes, the Warden. Whoa, if I get that one on sale, that's how I got it. If I see that one again, I'm going to get me another Warden. I got to get that. Um, but I got it down in, uh, I got it down in, um, in Virginia, actually, as a matter of fact. Anyway, I'm going to look for it first. I don't drink that much. I, it takes, in fact, I got a little bottle of wine on the train trip that I took from St. Louis to, um, I say, well, it was from Chicago to Seattle. And I got a, just a little, a little, whatever, a bigger little, whatever, I don't know, 500, whatever it was. And that thing lasted me three days. That's good. I get a regular 750 ml bottle of wine. It'll be like three to five days for me to go do that because I'm not a, I know, I live in South Africa, but I'm not like that. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you know, I'm sort of, whatever. So anyway, back to the train trip. So it was so good that to, to, to these, these cats from all over, some guy from French Canada, you know, and somebody from Winnipeg, and somebody from, uh, you know, uh, whatever, you know, just people from all around. Right? And I learned something about Canada. Canada, they're not like one country. First, I know it was just two countries. You know, you have the French-speaking part of England. But no, each province got their own laws. In fact, a couple of guys was on there because they got, they took a plane someplace out of something, but they couldn't get back by taking the plane because they had, they had all kinds of ID, but this province wouldn't accept something like that. So they couldn't get on a plane going back, so they had to take the train back. I, who makes these decisions? Here's my suggestion. Let me make some suggestions, right? Forget all what I had a fantastic trip, by the way. Oh, the crews are really great. I just the crews are really, really great. I really like the crews. Let me make some suggestions. Let, let me explain something to you all. Right? First of all, I'm an audio dramatist. I'm trained in radio, right? And theater, but I'm trained in radio, right? When I first came to radio, community radio, to be specific. When I first came to radio, I came as a volunteer for this radio station, answering phones for things. Then because I had some skills because I went to school. Don't worry, I have some skills. I had an own radio program when I was in, even before college. Um, uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday Sober JB, we're going to put that online way back in the day. It's like, don't worry, it's, it's, it was from WPRB in, in Princeton. It was the only program before, or, or has, that it was a six and a half hour live um, uh, Saturday Soul, it was called, right? Nobody has six and a half hours. It, it, it's never been done before and it's never been done after as far as college radio. Really. Least Prince and whatever it is. Okay. Then when I got to undergrad school, I had my own uh, radio program at, uh, at WRSU, which is out of uh, New Brunswick, because uh, I was at Livingston College. That was uh, the Rutgers College campus. It's a long story. It was various and blackness. And then I went to WBAI Radio in New York. See, I've always been community radio. It's a, it's a thing. You know, I'm not trying to be famous with that. I, I serve, I serve the community. Like you people at R R. V A I rail, all you don't need to serve. Let me tell you how to serve. Let me tell you so When I came to the VA, the first thing I did was a telephone volunteer for that. Then I assisted him at putting his records away, and doing some Fox Pop, you know, going around getting community, what we call community interviews, right? Then we, I mixed it, you know, to put up the present on the show. Then gradually I learned everything about the station. It's some engineering, there's an engineer, the all the stuff. To this department, that department, they gave me as a substitute program for somebody one, one time. When that was, that's when they told me something live on the radio. That was a 
that was a who, what a radio program. It was a limited series. Of course, of course Tom Whelan, he was going doing something. He did a program called Weaponry in the middle of the night, like two hours. So they, they, they asked me to film. I said, I don't do no weaponry. They said, no, you do whatever you want. And I did whatever I wanted. Anyway, then then uh, um, uh, then, then I did, well, then I did uh, what do you call that? Uh, what do you call that? Uh, film reviews for the station, going to the movies and then the film reviews. Some of those were cool, too. Uh, and then I brought in uh, some guys from School of Visual Arts because I was modeling at School of Visual Arts, you know, and, and, and they were very talented, but they were, well, it was a black crew, let's put it that way, it was like one white girl, but, you know, they could affect the voice like Ed Koch at the time and, and, um, and, and Ronald Reagan. But, you know, that flies on the radio, but if you see them live, and you, know, you see, you know, people see images, they can see. Anyway, so I, I convinced them that if they did radio, I trained them in radio, and they could do a radio program, and they did do it, you know? So anyway, it was a great, that was my core group for my audio dramas. Anyway, at the point, so I was training people for radio, but I, in each department, BAI is the kind of thing, they had little clicks, little cabals, right? But I ingratiated myself to each cabal, each circumstance, all up to, to finally I became, to cut a long story a little bit short, I became arts director. That was, that, that's like, arts director was, they, couple, they collapsed like three departments into one. It was the music department, the drama and literature department, and the, the critics. You know, uh, drama and literature was my forte, it was audio drama, but then you had the critics, like, you know, the dance critics, the film critics, the whatever, we were going to the, the art, the art, it was all in one, it's like a magazine format kind of thing. So I was in charge of all of that, which, which was an impossible job to do, but I did it because I do, the impossible. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate. I understand. You know. Yes, I have accolades for that too. Anyway, that's not the point. I got receipts for that, but that's not the point. So I did everything in radio. Here's what I'm suggesting. And well, let me go back to Saturday so with JB. Now JB, there's a princess where I met him. I was doing. I was a poet in residence for his program. Later on, he went on to Columbia Law, and you know, I mean, he's been my friend ever since. Whatever. Well, but even when he went. So uh, when he graduated Columbia Law and he got a job at the casinos in a, at a Playboy Casino in, uh, in Atlantic City, what he did, he went and did every job up because he was vice president, whatever, whatever those fancy titles. Were. He was a lawyer for the. He's the first black lawyer, actually, the first black lawyer in casino law. Hey, appeared in Jet Magazine. He got receipts for that too. I know, I know all the people that are, you know, just you know, but down the, at the bottom and then we. I know, I know, I know people. The downtrodden, especially. That's why I like to travel, like with the, with steerage. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> with coach, because the real people are here. Don't get me wrong. I, I guess sleeping car that's nice and blah blah blah. Then you the diner car, which is uh, upset me so much. How come we can't have good food? Just the diner cars get the, the they can have the the, the the meat or the fish or the poultry or the vegetarian, but we just get you know the 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 the. the, the. What's the matter with you, V? I a rail? Come on now. Let's get some. This look. I live in South Africa, so we're sensitive about. I and I grew up in the South Bronx, but uh, we're sensitive about this apartheid situation. You know, I'm just saying. I'm not pulling the apartheid cord with a race card and nothing like that. I'm just observing. I'm just a, a weary traveler. That's all. Well, I have written a happy travel <laughs> observer. Okay, back to the point. So David did every job, so he understood what it is. I'm suggesting, I know you big ministers or whatever you all got, you're, you're big executives, you can't sneak on the train because everybody will know you're there, I understand. But you got a cousin, that when you got somebody, an underling, I'm sorry, I, I, no, 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 look, I'm an underling too, so, so don't, 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 don't take offense, but somebody in your staff is just coming on, they should, you know, you know, undercover, they should take the train and report you. You got FaceTime, something like that. They report you. They can report right now. You can report to everything. Hey, you know, this happened, that happened. You're not squealing on people. You're not saying, oh, this, this is a lousy work or whatever. No, no, no. You're trying to get the experience, right? What happens? Then you know, you know, the, 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 the people that are anxious about smoking, you know what I mean? They have to have breaks and let them off. They take you to smoke their cigarettes, that kind of thing, you know? All kinds of things you learn when you're down with the, when you're down with the downtrodden, you learn things. But if you're up there in your bubble, oh, this is a bubble we're in right now, but this is a scenic bubble. Not, it's not the kind of bubble I'm talking about. When this, when you know what I'm talking about. Don't make like you don't know what I'm talking about. You're so out of touch, out of touch. Hey, look, like, oh, I gotta take a vacation. Then you take a vacation with, 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 with your, with your peoples to some uh, another opulent place, and all you know is opulence. You know, forgot whatever, right? Well, take a, take a, take, take, how's this a three? Take a four-day 
um, work and vacation, write it off on your taxes, and, and you know, put yourself in disguise. <laughs> disguise yourself as an old man. <laughs> That's a good one. Because they have all kinds of press like that. Disguise yourself as an old man, just sit in a coach seat, you know, with regular people, talk to regular people, you know. You can take an acting class first, right? <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm in the extreme. All I'm trying to say, you can, there's got to be a way you can find out what's really happening and experience it several times, not just, I did it one time. Yeah, then five years later, do it again, do it again. I mean, right now, this is a great trip. I love this trip, right? This is the winter time, right? I tell you, I'm so impressed with this little trip I took that what I want to do um, is I want to take, this is winter time, we're in December right now, and I usually travel in my birthday like in July. I want to take a trip in July won't be, I ain't got that kind of money, but like say in two years or something like that, I'll save it stuff. And I want to take a trip from Toronto to Vancouver, the other way in the, you know, summer months or whatever have you. Take that trip, see how that is, because it's a different reality, you see what I'm saying? And then when I get to Vancouver, take a boat, go to board, and then take the Amtrak down the coast, down to, down to, actually I have some friends in LA that work with the homeless, right? So I want to visit them and do some stuff with them, then then travel across to whatever, but, you know. I'll talk to Amtrak Vacations. They're the ones that, that booked this whole trip anyway, so I like that. So, you know, they come up, oh, I know, then go to Memphis and take the, the river boat up from Memphis to St. Louis. Hook it up with my best friend, you know, because we got, we got work to do, you know, we, we're doing stuff, right? And then come on back to Chesapeake and visit my sister, and then going back to South Africa, because I live in South Africa, you know. And that's again, I, I live in a village in South Africa, or a cold location, but I live in a village. What we do, I work with, with, with the, with the Community, right? With a specific, with the, with the community, and what we're doing with growing food, teaching how to grow food. We do our audio drama. It's a literacy program. I do, you know, stuff like that. The point is, the point is, I work with the people. If you an executive, and you deal with people, but you don't work with the peoples, or don't understand what the peoples go through, well, ain't that a problem? I don't know what's about. Ain't that a, ain't that a, a perspective that's uh, a little wanting? It's not a full perspective. You see, the view from the bottom is a it's a, it's a, it's a more complete perspective than the view from the top. Think about it. If you're if you're flying, you you know, versus taking forget the bus, versus taking the train, versus walking, different realities. I'm just observing, just pulling. Look, I'm not telling you that nothing you don't know. Okay, so that's it. I'm through talking to the executives. Now back to the people. So that's it. I just want to tell, tell tell everybody because um because there's oh there's another thing there's no service. So I usually would do my Instagram. I've been Instagramming the, the whole trip. You know what I mean? But but you know some picked the point. I couldn't Instagram live anymore. You know so whatever whatever whatever. So I've been putting the stuff on YouTube now. And then what I'll do is somehow I'll I'll put I don't know I'll, I'll do something. You know I'm mean, gonna take pictures for the Instagram and stuff like that. I'll post and whatever have you. And of course, everything's always on my YouTube channel. This kiss picked up my bit shoot, so I'm archived. And plus, oh, that's right, and my YouTube is not monetized and it's Creative Commons. So, hey, you can use this. Just give me credit, you know, for whatever. Okay, I got an idea. Okay, hey, VIA Ram. <laughs> you could take this document, just to make this as a documentary I done did, right? It's a documentary. You could take. And you could use any portions of it as long as you give, you give me credit. You see what it is like that. And uh, like I'll write a, I'll write an email letter and I'll put some. I'll, I know what to do. I'm gonna document my. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the URLs. It, it, it points my email so you can see this trip. See what I'm saying? This is the final, the final uh, thingy. Well, I'm, I'm not at the station yet because we're, we're we're waiting here. We're supposed to be on Toronto on time. I hook up with the other. I'm going to S uh, A. R N I A, so something like three hours away. Visit, visit some friends I hadn't seen in 25 years. You know, one of the Kenneth, Kenneth G, Dr. Kenneth G. Bill's crew, you know what I mean? I hooked up with you know, some people that I know, I really like them. And, and you know, then, then, I, then I finally go back down and I, I visit New York, see a friend of mine because we're working on something. If it comes to fruition, it's going to come to fruition, it's going to be good. Then I go back to South Africa where I go to Cape Town first and work with uh, the people in, in, the, in, the, in the Felipe village. Uh, I work with some, uh, helping some young people, uh, some, uh, some journalists, I'm a journalist, well, I'm a journalist. I know, my undergrad degree is in communication, so I help some budding journalists, journalists give them some advice, whatever have you, work with them for a little bit, then I go to, uh, then I go to Rhodes University and do a workshop in audio drama, which is what I do, I do audio drama, 
then I give back to to Devaza, which I, we are based at. We have a community house now. I'm like it. That's the other thing. This trip was great because I've been taking selfies with this. Well, I don't have the hat here, but an African hat that my wife made, right? And I take these selfies. We're gonna make a montage on the wall at, at this at this community house for the Lhote, uh, uh house hut or hut house in in, in Dubaza. and that that's part of that thing, right? So then I go back in the Dubaza where where I operate out of, where it's, it's my home, it's my it's my tasking place. Well, I'm just a consultant of it. Mean, my title is consultant. Because <laughs> I'm all man. Uh, people don't listen to me anyway, so I just can only consult. I give them advice. They take it or not. Uh, it's, their, it's, their, it's their thing, you know, like that. And like I said, I, 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 I live very low to the ground. I get a little, little pinch, a little thing. Very low to the ground. So I don't, I have no opulence here and blah, 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 blah. Even, no, that's it. So that's all I got to say. This has been your intrepid reporter on this trip. Let you know what, what's been happening. I got a few more reports because I guess when I get to, oh, when I get to Toronto, then I have the service, whatever that means, that I can post up on, uh, what do you call it, up on Instagram, so I'll continue with, with this trip, what's happening today. Don't worry about it, all right? So talk to you later, okay? Bye.